Hi, Irene here. I want to talk to you uh, some more about my trip to Yellowstone National Park uh, last uh, September. Um, and I talked the last time about going to the um, Lamar Valley where I saw elk and wolves and rode on the yellow bus. Um, I'm going to see if I can post a picture of that yellow bus because that was a, really a really a fun, fun uh, trip. And actually, uh, the day we took this trip, it was the last day uh, that the buses were running. And uh, so I just lucked out. Um, I had to drive quite a distance, um, I don't know, maybe 40 miles uh, to catch the bus because that was the only one that had space uh, on that last day. And so I was really tickled that I didn't miss that. Um, so besides that, um, I wanted to tell you um, about the lodge, um, the uh, lake, Yellowstone Lake Lodge, which is uh, one of the older lodges, and it has a big porch on it. Uh, I sat there at in a rocking chair, you know, the old-fashioned New England type rocking chairs, with a glass of wine and conversed with another couple, and actually we went in and had dinner together. Um, after uh, we'd had our wine, and that was a lot of fun. Um, and overlooking the, the uh, lake, and which is a huge, huge lake. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was the um, Yellowstone Waterfalls, uh, the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. It runs miles and miles and miles, and it is absolutely spectacular. You can get quite close to the waterfalls. Um, you take a bridge over um, the river, and you can be on both sides. And it reminded me um, very much of Niagara in parts of the waterfall. It just came down at such a speed, um, you sure wouldn't want to be be at the top of that and go over. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about um, after that was going to um, Glacier National Park and um, well before that I went through the Grand Tetons um, or that national park, and you see the Tetons uh, to your, let's see, to the west, I guess, which are just beautiful, beautiful mountains. And there, in the winter time, there are just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bison uh, come down the road, and that's where they spend the winter uh, because it's in the valley. And a lot of them get hit by cars. Uh, there are signs everywhere, you know, really be careful and uh, and watch out for the bison in the wintertime. Um, there weren't any bison at that point um, when I was there because it was too early. But uh, they were there in the wintertime. And I saw bison elsewhere, so that was fine. So then I went to Glacier National Park. And it was really late in the season to be going to Glacier. Um, and I wanted for sure to go uh, going to the Sun Road, which goes from the west to the east. And uh, that's the whole point of going to Glacier. I mean, it was just spectacular. It's a winding road. Um, there's the glacier-colored water everywhere running through the park, the mountains, the mountain goats I saw. Um, it's just absolutely the rock and the, and the water and the mountains and the winding road and the trees. 
it was it was wonderful um it closes when they have snow and it had closed a few days before i got there and then i was able to get on the internet and find out that the road was open again and i think it was just open a couple of days and then it was closed for the season so um, i really was very very happy not to miss that so anyway that's a little bit about my trip and um, on my next video i'm going to talk about going into canada so i'll talk to you later thank you bye